Forest Holidays invites you to get in the heart of nature, and yes, you've got to say it in that voice, with a break at one of our 13 locations across the UK. This weekend, we're here at Deer Park in Cornwall, which is about 15 minutes away from the south coast. Nestled amongst the forest and surrounded by wildlife, Deer Park houses a total of 45 cabins, which sounds absolutely tiny compared to even the smallest of centre parks. Those cabins are a mixture of silver birch, which is Forest Holiday's entry level lodge standard. They also have golden oak, which is the next level up, and they even have their own golden oak treehouse. So the time now is a quarter past six. We did get here just after four o'clock, and we are here in cabin 31, which is a silver birch cabin. We've already started to unpack and put things away. So I did take some quick video before we made it a mess. So starting with the outside, you'll see that everyone has their own car parking space right outside their lodge. And there is additional parking available down at the Forest Retreat, which is the main complex area. We've got the steps coming up to the lodge. And then we've got, you know, immediately you are faced with the hot tub, which is a key selling point of Forest Holidays, I think. We, uh, we've not tried it out yet, but guaranteed we can spend a lot of time enjoying a hot tub over this weekend. And all cabins come with a hot tub as standard here, so you haven't got to worry about rushing to get one. This lodge is on two stories. Downstairs we have got a cloakroom. There is a separate toilet and shower room and the twin bedroom. It's fair to say that it's fairly sparsely decorated, but is still nice and the beds all feel comfortable. Bit of storage space, not a huge amount, but then you're not here for a very long time. And then you come through into the main living area. So we've got this nice big sofa, TV. We've got the kitchen, which is fairly well stocked with all your kitchen supplies, dining room table, and the balcony veranda, which looks out. Definitely, you can see us spending lots of time enjoying a coffee and sitting out here. The main bedroom is upstairs, and it's decorated to a very similar style, so it's, it's not too in your face. Double bed, ensuite shower room. Yeah. I think it's going to be absolutely fine. I quite like the style. I'd say it feels quite kind of rustic, but like rustic, but towards a luxury end. So I don't know if that means anything to anyone else, but that's how I'm thinking of it. So, first impressions? Yeah, I really like it. I think it's really nice. I love that the, this window is kind of my, my favourite thing at the moment. And when you come from the upstairs bedroom yeah. to look out of there. You just stand by in the morning. Romeo, Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, comes, whatever comes next. Yeah. <laughs> Harper, do you like it? Are you enjoying it? Are you happy? Look at this. Are you coming next? It's your space. Is that he, your space, is it? He's most definitely not claiming that as his space. <laughs> so, upon arrival, so the key, there's no fancy wristbands here, but there is a key, one key for the lodge, lodge cabin. So that's for your front door. We've also got given some information here with a map with some walks and a few walks that we might go and do tomorrow. Information on the back about activities. I'll talk more about that later. And this one. Again, this one has some information about the park. And information about facilities and keep the noise down and dogs on leads. There's also a lot of information in the TV. I was quite impressed by that, wasn't I? Yeah, it's really good actually, the way that like, you could just get everything you needed to on there. And you could put requests and stuff on, couldn't you? Yes. So, you can contact them if you need to. Yep. Forest holidays breaks can be booked in either three or four night blocks of Friday to Monday or Monday to Friday or combinations of those. Regular arrival time is 4 p.m. and checkout time is 10 a.m. However, you can pay extra for early check-in from 2 p.m. or late checkout up until 12 midday. They're priced separately or a combination price of 53 pounds. If you want to choose your cabin location, there's an extra cost of £37. We did not do that. We just thought we'll go with whatever we want. We know that they're all 
very similar. First time here, haven't got anything to base it from. So basic Wi-Fi is included in your stay, but there is also premium Wi-Fi that you can pay to upgrade to. We have not paid for pre premium Wi-Fi for this break. Um, I don't think we're gonna need it for very much. If it's really bad, because we are pretty rural and isolated, I'd say, in this location where the Deer Park is, is located, we may decide to pay for an upgrade to see if it's any better, but for now, just gonna go with what's, that, what's included as standard, because you already might be kind of seeing all of these little things that add up and add up. And also, they do offer to sell you a breakage protection cover, which is 12 pounds for your stay, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a car. Just saying. <laughs> when you're paying as much as you pay to come here, I think to charge 12 pounds is a con. Yeah. Hopefully we don't break anything. We might, by the end of this video, be eating our words. We might be selling you know, all of our worldly goods. <laughs> I was gonna smash that window now. <laughs> So this video is going to be a combination of a vlog of what we get up to over the course of the weekend, as well as just trying to share some information about forest holidays. We're not pros, this is our first time here, but hopefully this video might be useful for some of you. I know some of you watching this are going to be Centre Parks fans like we are, and you might be wanting to know how this compares. Is this an alternative to consider? And Whilst we're going to try, no promises, but whilst we're going to try to not compare to centre parks every five minutes, which sounds absolutely tiny compared to even the smallest of centre parks, and they even have their own golden oak treehouse. There's no fancy wristbands here, but centre parks fans, I'm sure later in the video we will do some comparisons of pros and cons. Yeah, we're not going to be able to help ourselves. No. <laughs> and talking of not being able to help ourselves, Forest Holidays do offer some in-lodge dining options, some delivery options, and we have got some pizza coming very soon, which I'm really looking forward to. The pizza's due in two minutes, and I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Wouldn't have complained if it was bigger, but then, you know, such yeah. is life. Yeah, we do <laughs> tend to like a big portion size, don't we? Yeah. And Pete's. That's why we haven't got six packs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the farmhouse? Yeah. Yeah. The farmhouse barbecue chicken. Yeah. And some garlic bread. Oh. Oh God, that looks a bit disappointing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Looks garlicky. But yeah, mm. Mm. cool. Look at you. <laughs> bon appetites. Do you know what? It's nice enough. It just doesn't look very impressive. <laughs> Are you enjoying the pizza? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, that sounds like a no. No, I am enjoying it. Be honest. Be honest. I, I am being Be honest. honest. Um, it's not amazing. Mm. It's all right. Yeah. Mm. It kind of reminds me of school pizza. Mm. Not a bad thing. Or all-inclusive buffet pizza. Yeah. We've had a few of those in our time. Just a few. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> it's arrived hot and toppings are okay. The size is okay. Although, these two pizzas, garlic bread and ice cream, apparently serves or feeds a family of four. I guess two people to start going hungry. We do eat more than most people in all fairness. It definitely wouldn't feed a family of four in our house. <laughs> what? what are you trying to say? We do. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so once you have made your forest holidays booking, you can then log into your account through the website and you can then select to add on optional extras. You can also do a lot of these through the TV, but I think there may be one or two things that you have to do in advance. Um, so those things could include the pizza and party, pizza night like we've had. So that 
pizza meal deal cost 36 pounds. Now, if you were saying it was for a party of four, then, you know, that's what, nine pounds each? Yeah. Mm, yeah, maths. Yeah. Um, for delivery, I'd say takeaways at home could be that price. So it's not massively extortionate, I don't think. Yeah, we live in an expensive part of the world for takeaways anyway, so we're used yeah. to spending a lot of money on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> as well as the pizza uh, takeaway delivery, you could, also, you could also choose to go for a curry night. We might try that later on in the weekend. And you, there's also a burger night option as well. They all have meal deals and individual items that you can buy. You could also choose to add on a welcome hamper. They had like, I think, 10 different combinations of welcome hampers, Oh my they? God, there was loads. Yeah, they were all expensive as well, weren't they? Yeah, so we've not gone for any welcome hampers. But if you do want to get there and you have to think about what you need to bring and you just want your tea, coffee, milk, bread, eggs, bacon, cereal, all of that stuff, there was also some welcome hampers that included like champagne. And like all these like wine packages. Yeah, there was wine packages. Yeah. So there are less facilities on site with forest holidays than, you know, other places. And tomorrow we'll go and do a full explore of the site and show you what is here at Deer Park. Something that forest holidays do really promote is the local attractions in your local area. So I think that's quite different to centre parks where here your car is outside of your lodge and like you're not you're not shooed off site they don't they're not telling you to go off and whatever but you can come and go as you please very easily and they will then sell you tickets and promote things like the eden project or Bodmin jail so yeah yeah we're only here for a weekend we've got harper with us so we have booked no activities we're just going to enjoy the lodge the hot tub the local area, the walks, and then we have booked in, and we didn't realise this was even happening, I didn't realise, and I know you wouldn't have. <laughs> we have booked in tomorrow evening to go down to the main area at half past six. Yeah, to go and do forest retreat. Yes, to go yeah. and do the family quiz. So, no idea um, how that's going to work, but we'll go and give it a try. <laughs> Hot tub time. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'll just like the hot tub? I enjoyed it. It's very hot. It didn't feel that hot when I put my finger in it, but then when you're actually in there. Yes, it was very hot. I can see why on the TV, on their safety instructions, it says 15 minutes. Honestly, I feel like boiling a bag of rice. <sighs> um, yeah, it was, it was really good. Definitely you can see I was using that plenty of times. And it's more of a hot tub than a jacuzzi bath, so there's not like lots of bubbles, or, but there are like some jets, uh, but very hot, so. So, good morning from the forest. I say good morning, however, it's already started off with a bit of a wrong turn. Look at this. Oh dear. Yep. And there's no more sticking it back on this time. Disaster. Oh well. Wow. Have I done money's worth out of it? Yes. Time to hunt down a new one. <laughs> but as we are out here, oh my gosh, I've only seen this. Look at this. Look at these views. I sleep, hear the cricket, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do, oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight, 
found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh. Just about to cook some breakfast, but I thought first of all I'll just show you what you get included in your uh, kitchen compliments, complimentary essentials pack. Very exciting. We've got dishwasher tablets, and there are five of those in here. Some washing up liquid, scouring sponge, cloth, and a food waste bag. I also get a black bag as well. Very exciting, I know, but good to know, you know, if you're, if you're coming down and you're thinking about space in the car, it's helpful just to have that included, I think. And speaking of space in the car, we have brought with us very little food. We brought quite a lot of drink with us, uh, but we did bring very little. So we brought some bits for lunch today, but we thought we'd see what was available on site here in the shop, and we'll go down and film a bit in there later, and uh, we'll make use of what's available on site. So I've already been down. Now, on our way here, though, our drive, took us through the arse end of nowhere, going from North Devon down to South Cornwall. And whilst on our way, we passed lots of shops and farm shops selling stuff. So we stopped, pulled over and spent three pounds buying some hot chilies marmalade. So we we're quite excited to try that. So that was literally just by the side of the road. But I think that might go quite nicely with what are possibly the most expensive sausages in the world. <laughs> I actually don't know how much these cost, uh, but the very small shopping what I did yesterday, which was a few bags of crisps and some ice sausages and some bacon came to 22 pounds on site. And it is card only, no cash. So, put I'll treat ourselves some of these local sausages. They look bloody delicious. I'm sure Harper's gonna be sniffing around, and some bread rolls as well. So, let's get some cooking done. I'm gonna have this one with the spicy marmalade, was it? Hot chili marmalade, yeah. That's delicious. Oh, mmm. Sausages are good. Mmm. Should be for £10. <laughs> <laughs> so the weather is being a little bit hit and miss this morning. We've had some rain showers, we've had some dry patches. We're gonna go out for a little walk around the site just to have a little take it all in, maybe head down to the Forest Retreat, which is where the Sort of main bits are guest services, the shop, the on site cafe, restaurant, etc. And just have a little look. So, and it's starting raining straight away. <laughs> We've committed now. Yeah, I oh know. No, I think you look like you got your forest feeling. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> and actually, that. 50p. Oh. So that's a bargain. Yeah. That would have done us as well for what we need it for. That's what we got. We got some cuddly toys for like twenty pounds. Comforter. Oh, some folding. <laughs> Dave's running away. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. They've got pins, Dave. Pins, aren't they magnets? Oh, are they magnets? Yeah, oh, they're magnets. magnets. I can get on board with that one. <laughs> yeah. So that would be six pounds. Oh no, it says it's 7.50 on here, so. I think it's with glitter, but it really does it. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I think they probably um, have not got the right audience for that at Forest Holidays. Yeah. Oh, it's not that close. Look, the map is not. Um... Well, let's assume we're going down. Easy. <laughs> and if we get it wrong, we'll come back up here. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, let's do it. It's not <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> We make our own pancake house. I'm really excited about this. This was again one of the few things that we actually brought with us. Yeah, and, and we bought it. It was from the um, the farm shop next outside, to Elfdom. Not making fresh pancakes. We're just going to use one of these uh, maple syrup pancakes and a banana and uh, some squirted cream as well. So, um, but whilst we're doing that, I thought we could just catch you up on our morning. Uh, so, where did we go? We went down to the forest retreat. Yeah. Had a look in the shop and stuff there. So the forest retreat is like the one plaza bit, isn't it, here? It's got everything, but it's on a smaller scale, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a shop, a cafe, restaurant, which does breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, a bar. It's also got guest services, and it's where you can do some activities, so. The shop, I mean, the shop's very limited. So just to say like, you know, if you've gone, if you've gone to other places, this is really, really small. Quite a lot of like organic produce, local produce stuff, expensive produce stuff. <laughs> yeah, and even not the, the basics stuff are yeah. expensive. Like while it is a bit inflated at Centre Parks, you'd have a carjack arrest if you went into the shop here because an onion was a pound, yeah. one onion was a pound. Not a packet of onions, one onion yeah. was a pound. Uh, I mean, so we were here for a weekend and we wouldn't we wouldn't plan to do a full shop in the shop here. You couldn't you do couldn't, a full shop, yeah. yeah. But there is some, a small selection of freezer stuff and ready meals. Teddies yeah. are like 20 quid plus. Yeah, the teddies were 20 quid. Some of the smaller bits, like six pounds for the key rings and magnets and stuff. However, one of the things that you can then pay and arrange to do through the Forest Retreat is a pottery painting, which is considerably, well, we think it's considerably cheaper than it would be to do that at Centre Parks or whatever, so. It's just kind of like, and they, they seem to have like a table set up in there, so it's all kind of there. You buy your little thing and you go and use the paints and you do it and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. And much less prices. And as far as we can tell, you just pay for the item and then you go and do it. There's no like paying for your table, then paying for the bits. So we'll find out maybe. Yeah. yeah. yeah we might, might, maybe, maybe go and do that tomorrow. Yeah. It's not massively my no. cup of tea, but like I might embrace it. So, We're here. Yeah. We are going back down there later this evening, however, to go and do the quiz. So that is free to do. Um, and we'll just go and see. I mean, obviously, the last quiz that we did, we came second. I'm not sure I have high hopes for us this time, but we'll see. So that was the forest retreat. We then um, went for one of the walks. So at this site, Deer Park, there are like three identified walks on the map you can do. There's a small, medium and large one, I think. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. 
So we went for the medium one. It was raining on and off, but a lot of it was under the trees and stuff. Um, the it is walks through the woods, walks through the, through the forest. So whilst there are clearly defined paths, they are, it's not like you're walking on tarmac walking paths. It is walking through the woods. So it's like slippery, uneven, puddly. Having said that, we did see somebody on the walk in an electric wheelchair. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know, we're not the best people to kind of advise, but that's what we've seen. Yeah. So maybe it is possible. Yeah. Um, anything else to report from our morning? I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. It is time <laughs> for some lunch. So we're going to make some pancakes and then I think we're going to spend the afternoon enjoying the, uh, the lodge, use the hot tub. Might have some champagne in the hot tub. Oh. Yeah, I often drink champagne, don't I? Mm, yeah, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I am excited about this. I'm a pancake artist now. Apparently so. <laughs> mm. Champagne time. Ooh. I feel in depression now because the camera's on me. <laughs> I was thinking, make sure that cork doesn't fly from break anything. I'll be Be using the tea towel. Be at least 12 pounds. I'd be curious to know how much they do charge for things. Yeah. The plastic glasses, safety first. Safety first. We always we follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do always follow the rules. We can fit more in these glasses as well, more importantly. <laughs> Turns on to lean over the side for another one. We're on our holidays. So here we go, in the daytime. This is the hot tub. Oh my god, this is nice. Is it? Really nice. Cheers. 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 Now, I'm not really a champagne connoisseur, but it tastes <laughs> nice. So the hot tub does have some jets, although not 100% sure. Like, I think maybe these dials. Oh yeah, there's no cabin in behind me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so I think each day the hot tub maintenance people come around just to check them and do whatever. There is a fear that they're now going to turn up as we are here filming and think that they've walked in on something completely different. <laughs> we could be doing something a lot worse than filming, <laughs> although it depends what we're filming, I suppose. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> I bet they have seen some sights. Oh, I bet they've seen some sights. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's a job I want to do. <laughs> oh. I know it may not look it because we've put the same clothes back on but we have had a nice bit of time in the hot tub and we've showered and freshened up to uh, head down to the forest retreat. Yeah, I mean it's say freshened up like literally showered and put the same <laughs> clothes back on. Yeah, went on holiday, be yeah. tramps. <laughs> Jogger bottoms, fine. So we are heading down to the forest retreat now, ready for the quiz at half six. The Forest Retreat is open from half past eight, I think, in the morning. No, they crossed it out oh, nine. nine. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it was half past eight. Yeah. But yeah, she made a point of that actually when I sat down with her and checked it in. And she's like, oh, it says this, but it's not, it's nine. Cool. So it, from 9 a.m., seven days a week, uh, and closes at half past eight, except on changeover days, Mondays and Fridays, when it's open an extra half an hour until nine o'clock. So that's three. I know. Yeah. So that includes the shop and the restaurant as well so 
So I guess that means that we'll be back by half eight. Yeah, I, like, it's interesting actually, I hadn't thought about that before, but they obviously do not want people getting pissed. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Dave did also then just say as we were walking down, have we thought of a team name? No, no we haven't. Can we not just be like team one and team yeah. two and team three? <laughs> I'm just really boring, aren't I? I'm... Oh, I mean, so obviously I go to at Centre Parks and now is the spicy fries, but it doesn't really work here. Maybe you're going to have to put an Instagram story yeah. up and see <laughs> yeah. if anyone can think of anything. So you can get burgers, pizzas, rice bowls, some Boris classics, which include sausage and mess, ham, chicken, ham and leek pie, mushroom and leek pie. It's not particularly exciting that part though, is yeah. it? And you've got some fries. No spicy loaded fries, no loaded fries full stop. It's not good enough. Yeah, should we go home now? If you want me to come back, you need to get it on this menu. <laughs> yeah. Bloody light switches. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot, isn't there? Oh, <laughs> there it is. It's already been raining and sunny and misty. All sorts. Yeah, but like it's just amazing sitting on the sofa. What I could sit there and look out the window all day, to be honest. Yeah. I prefer actually the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so our plan for today, we've already had our breakfast. We are going on a hike. Well, a walk. It says it's two hours, but the walk that we did yesterday, it said it would take an hour and it, it didn't take us an hour. So I've got my wellies in the car, so I don't think Crocs will be the most suitable thing for that. <laughs> yeah, no, the Crocs can go. Yeah. Can't wait to get over there. <laughs> get your leg over. <laughs> that I can do. <laughs> but you can see where you slipped. <laughs> Wasn't me, it was him. <laughs> So we have been out walking for nearly an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somewhere along the way, trying to find the blue walk, which takes you through Deer Park Woods. We've taken a wrong turn in. So we ended up in a very cute village, chatted to a, uh, a local person there who was helpfully giving us directions. We still think we've got lost. <laughs> so we are just making our own walk now. Which is fine because we're still enjoying it. This is still very nice, I and mean, this is a, a uh, Forest of England like walkway. And yeah, you've seen one woods, you've seen them all. Yeah, we'll do the red walk when we get back the small yeah. one, so that we we've done two of the three then, haven't we? Yeah. And we've we've done our own explore. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> this feels. Did we walk? No. Round here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did. No, because we would have walked from down there, though. I think we come there and did there, didn't we? 
oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just a different... Because I remember the tree, I feel. I, feel. I remember getting to a point like this, and we were like, should we go this way or this way? Oh, yeah. Which feels like it's here. So here we go, this was my little dog. And this is my snail. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's really good. Look at me on the forest logos. Yeah. Thing on the forest logos, forest holidays logo on the back. These were 6 95 each. That included the paint, everything. That's the only price you pay. So we obviously don't um, fire them in the kiln or anything to give them that glossy finish. So it's just literally painting on, but 6.95, we were able to sit there, we had a drink. Yeah, yeah, not my cup of tea, not something I'd normally choose doing, but, and it's also worth noting, we just went for the cheap ones, because we were just doing it just for the sake of it. But if you're more into this, they did have, like, a variety yeah. of, like, yeah, there's different points and different prices and stuff, so. And I think, like, yeah. the most expensive one was 12 or 15 pounds still, so it wasn't yeah. extortionate. So if you're thinking of, like, taking a kid and they go, oh, I want that one, and point to, like, the big one, it's not, Ooh, not too bad. Other activities that you can do here that we haven't done this weekend include archery, which is £20 per person, I think. They also have a bike hire, as we've seen as we walked around. Um, but yeah, this was our little, just a little something to give it a try. Let us know which one you think is better. Just make sure you put the right answer down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might know who wins, but uh, yeah. That's my curry. Get down, Papa. Hey. Not for you, mister. I cannot wait for this. It smells so good. Right, so you went for a pizza and wedges. Yeah. Yeah, they look good, don't they? Yeah, they look yeah. decent, don't they? Uh... What do you think yours is? Mmm. <laughs> Man, I've got this whole plethora of things. So I ordered some... I ordered some bargies. Some onion bargies as a little side and then the actual main meal i've got a chicken jowl crazy which smells so good and that's a fairly decent pot of curry that i can't open i'm assuming this is the rice i also ordered a naan bread and it came with some poppadoms and some mango chutney oh well i know that i can eat poppadoms this is gonna give me the shit and just like that the weekend is over. It's gone too quick. It has. It is now half past nine. We have to be checked out by ten. But overall verdict? Like as a, a couple, it's not perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. We've enjoyed the hot tub. We've enjoyed going for walks through the woods. Just relaxing here with the dog. So yeah, all good. Would definitely and will definitely be doing some more forest holidays. Yeah, looking forward to trying some different sites. Now I would say for us, I don't think it's going to replace our Centre Parks breaks. You know, we love a little Centre Parks break. But it offers something different. Whilst on paper you kind of go cabin, woods, nature, they are very different in what they what they actually offer you. So this has been, like we've said, very relaxing, much less go, go, go. Yeah, the, the view from our lodge, I would say, is better than any view we've ever had at Centre Parks. But yeah. having said that, the wildlife here has been pretty much non-existent. A couple of birds and stuff, but when you're high up, you're not going to see. Yeah. Not. There's some ducks if you go down to <laughs> yeah. the like the waterside ones. Yeah. Like I like ducks, so I'm happy with that. Like, but yeah, overall, there's just not as much going on on yeah. your decking area. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we did not see a single deer. So, deer park, no deer park. <laughs> yeah. Oh, deer park. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got some notes just about the prices. So. Our break, we are here in March 24, three night stay, and it cost us £490 for the cabin, and then add on top of that £15 per night for the dog, for Harper. 
you can have up to four animals and each animal is 15 pounds per night. So that could get very pricey. You know, him it's 45 quid. However, at the time of booking, Blue Lights card was offering a 10% off your booking price before the animals. It's not always 10%, but if you have a Blue Lights card, check it out. They also periodically offer welcome emails and 10% as well. So if you're thinking about Forrest's holiday, you can possibly find some savings. Something you will never do with Centre Parks. Yeah, and also I just thought about that I actually booked it through Top Cashback as well, and there was about £10 that oh. I got from that. It all adds up, doesn't it? It's yeah. £10 for doing nothing. Yeah. So that means the break, yeah, the cost for our accommodation for the whole weekend came to £522. <laughs> the noise. Excuse me, we're trying to record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the pricing might be quite seasonal. Obviously, summer holidays, prices for all of them are going to go up. But like here, you were saying, down in Cornwall, this is quite low priced right now. Off season, you know, winter into spring, come the summer, who doesn't want to be in the Southwest? Yeah, like the Southwest is always going to be the more expensive place to come, isn't it, in, yeah. the, in the summertime. So yeah, it was a lot more expensive in the summer. My car's coming back. We just wanted another look. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing up yeah. there, twats? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously on top of all that prices, we did book, um, a couple of restaurant, we had one meal in the restaurant with a quiz, which was free. We did a pottery painting. We had a couple of things here. So I think all in all, it's about hundred pounds each. And if we were gonna come again, we would bring a lot of our own food. We thought we would buy stuff on site. The shop's so small and limited and quite expensive. I wouldn't go out of my way to eat here for all our meals, which is what we kind of wanted to do. But yeah, yeah next time I'd just go out for a, a meal, yeah. try it. So it's now time to get checked out. The checkout process is leave your cabin clean and tidy, which we have done, we have stripped the bed, um, and then leave the front door unlocked and return the key down to reception or the key box. So I'm gonna head down and do that. You wanna get half in a car, and then we're on our way home. So I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. New place for us. Is it something you would consider doing? If you've got any questions, you know, comments below. Otherwise, we will be back very soon I'm sure with some more trips we're off to centre parks in the next month and then we are off in May on our cruise Norwegian to, Fjords to the Norwegian Fjords with P&O so yeah really excited about that thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon bye bye